So this video will illustrate how to use NSO from an operational perspective. In the previous video, we looked at NSO as used by network engineers. But now imagine you're working in the NOC. You're responsible for looking at the services, that they are okay, and understanding what's going on. And there are a couple of problems that normally appear. It's very hard to understand the services in the network. Customers bought a business VPN, but where does that really reside in a network? Which configs should be in the network to make sure that service is working? There might be inconsistencies. Things might have been reconfigured out of band when the devices which hits the service. You don't know. Did the service really work at the delivery time? Customer calls in now, but what's the status when it was delivered? So, in this video, we'll illustrate how to use NSO to address those issues. So how can you get more service insight using NSO? Well, NSO has a full picture of the service configuration and the device configurations, and the most tasks around NSO and understanding customer problems and fixing problems is navigating service configs to corresponding device configs. Are those in sync? Did someone change the device config out of band? You can analyze, so this service, what is the intended device config out there? So a lot of tools to help you understand that mapping. There are services that will take a long time to deliver, might wait for a physical CPE shipment, might wait for a virtual machine to start. So when services cannot be created in one go, NSO has good tools to show either progress called the service plans. It will show you how far it has come, that it's waiting for the CPE or it's waiting for a virtual firewall to boot. Finally, there's an option to NSO called orchestrated assurance. So that helps you also looking to the services from an assurance perspective. Did the service actually work end-to-end -end in the network when it was provisioned? And at real time, what's the current SLA status? What are the current service KPIs? So, demo time. So in this example, I've provisioned two VPNs for the customers. So Ford has a business VPN and Volvo has a business VPN. And the first question is, of course, what's the configuration of these? So you can use the NSO web UI to understand the precise config. If you look at the endpoints, which endpoints do we have? These are the branch offices. Of course, this is different per service type, per customers. So this again is just an example. And you can drill down into individual branch offices and see all the details. That's the black box configuration of the service. We can do the same thing in the NSO CLI. So we can check Ford VPN. So this is also very important when you work as an operational engineer if you prefer the web UI or the CLI, but the important thing is that you have visibility of the services explicitly. Normally you have device configurations explicitly, but the service configs may be in an out-of-date inventory or any kind of support system. But NSO keeps track of the services and the devices in one single data store. So this was Ford, and we can check for Volvo. You can, if you're interested in sort of data across, you can say like, what are the route distinguishers across these? That was not intended. I intended to show for all the VPNs. So here you can see in one single CLI command, all the route distinguishers across all the VPNs I had in my network. So we quickly looked at how we could use NSO to see the explicit service config so then, of course, the interesting piece of this is a service config. How is it related to the configuration of the devices in the network? So you can drill down into a VPN here, and you can start with coarse grain and ask yourself, okay, so this VPN, which devices in the network did it really touch? So you see a list of all the affected devices. If you move over to the CLI, you can say, like this, sort of the same thing. So show me all the devices that are affected by all the layer three VPNs. So here you see that Ford has these ones and Volvo has these ones. So this is a very good start if you want to try to understand if there's a problem, if you want to do planned maintenance, etc. You can see the relationship, but you can go deeper. We can start from the web UI. Here, let's try to see what config did a specific VPN create. 
So I can then ask NSO to show me the modifications, meaning this configuration of this VPN, what kind of modifications has it done to devices in the network? You can select various output formats here, but let's go directly. So that gives you an exact list of the config that was created on the device. Last time we changed anything, and you can do the same here in the CLI. Let's pick Ford. Same thing here. So, I asked NSO when this service was provisioned or modified lately, what kind of changes did you do to my network? So you see for every touch device, the exact piece of config. This is extremely useful when you try to understand services in the network, and the other way around is also available. So this helped me looking from a service perspective down to a device perspective, but in other scenarios you might be interested in, here's a device. Do I have any services on top of it? That is as well available. So what you can do then is to ask NSO to show the configuration of a specific device. But not just the device config as such, but decorate that config with information about the services that resulted in the same config. So what you can see here is a lot of interesting things. Between the lines of configuration, here you can see, so this piece of config, which service created this config? So you can see that the VPN service Volvo did create this config, and we have just one service. So you might have several services touching upon the same config. You would then see both service names and also reference count, so you have a perfect control of why the config resides on the devices. So at this point, we've shown how we can inspect service config, how we can inspect the corresponding device config, and the relationship between service configs and device configs. Move on a little bit to how we can troubleshoot customer problems. If customers are calling, customer care calls back to you and say that we seem to have a problem with one of our delivered services. A common problem is that something has changed out of band due to a critical fix or anything. You did a local modification on the device without knowing that piece of config was belonging to a service. So you might have inconsistencies between the desired state and device config and the service config. That can easily be detected by NSO. We can start doing it here from CLI and show how it works in the web UI as well pretty soon. So, I'm asking NSO to do a deep check sync of my layer three VPN services. That means that NSO knows the service config and the desired device config, and so I'm doing a check sync. Do I have the exact config on the devices as NSO would expect in order for the services to work? And the deep option here is that NSO is actually reaching out to real devices, fetching the real config from the devices. You can also sort of inspect if somebody did a local modification just on the device config in NSO, but from an operational perspective, this would be the most reasonable scenario. So what we can see for Volvo there is a piece of config out there on the device. Someone has done local config changes that is not in line with the intended service config. Let's drill down to that one then. We can go directly to Volvo here. And in what way are things changed? So not just sort of a true false thing, but there is a diff and show me the diff in CLI syntax. So here we can certainly see that there is a problem because the access list for the voice is not there on the device. NSO has set up quality of service for this customer, including voice services, which is not residing on the device itself. We can do the same thing from web UI. We can go to Volvo. We can do a deep check sync. 
outformat CLI. And here we see the same thing. This piece is missing. How can you solve this problem? Well, you have provisioned a service to the customer. If that piece of service config is correct, the device config here should be considered not correct. So at that point, you can just do a redeploy of the service. So redeploy calculates the minimum diff from the service intent to the network. What is the minimum diff to make the change happen? So redeploy that service. It's redeployed. Now the service is back to a good state and should work fine at that point. So what this module showed you is while using NSO and operational situations, you can deeply understand and study the relationship between services and the corresponding configurations. You have full visibility into the services and their dependencies to the device configs in both directions. So having all that in one configuration data store and where you can have NSO to restore NSO services greatly helps you in your daily operations work.